So I'm holding in my hand a very interesting book, The Art and Techniques of Digital Color Correction. And uh, today I've been fascinated about color, as you can see, uh, the laptop and the book I'm looking at is talking about color. And it's fascinating how um, we get tranquility when we look at the colors, the beautiful colors that God has created. Well, that's not the subject for today. Hi there, friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to dive into what might be considered by some people as a sensitive topic that has sparked ongoing debates and discussions in recent times. It's the question that has been raised time and time again. Whose rainbow is it? More specifically, we will explore the ongoing debate between the LGBTQI plus community and Christians. Now, let's jump right in. Before we begin, let's set the stage by acknowledging that this is a complex and sensitive topic. Our goal today is not to promote division, but rather to shed light on the different perspectives and explore the subject from the biblical point of view. We believe in fostering dialogue and respect even when discussing challenging subjects. The rainbow has long been a powerful symbol appearing in various cultures and traditions throughout history. In fact, my children went to a kindergarten named Rainbow Nursery School. From the best of my knowledge, it is founded and run on Christian principles. In the biblical context, the rainbow is prominently featured as a sign of God's covenant with humanity. According to the book of Genesis, after the great flood, God set a rainbow in the sky as a promise to never destroy the earth by flooding again. So it's understandable why many Christians hold the rainbow as a significant symbol of God's faithfulness. On the other hand, the LGBTQI plus community has adopted the rainbow as a symbol of pride, diversity, and inclusivity. For them, the rainbow serves as a powerful emblem of acceptance and love, promoting equality and LGBTQI plus rights. As we can see, both groups have assigned different meanings and associations to the rainbow. This has led to tensions and disagreements, often pitting religious beliefs against uh, the LGBTQI plus rights. It's important to remember that different individuals and communities interpret the Bible in diverse ways, and biblical truth and honesty are vital in such conversations. So, what can we learn from this ongoing debate? First and foremost, it's crucial to go back to the foundations of truth, life, and love. From a Christian point of view, God is love. That is his attribute. And his love is agape love. Essentially, God loves all his creation. As Christians, we must reflect this attribute of God. On the other hand, God is holy, and he hates sin. He desires that all would turn away from their sin and disobedience and embrace his love. Instead of viewing this issue as a battle between the Christian and LGBTQI plus community, we should recognize it's just one part of a cosmic conflict between good and evil. The souls of humans at the point of contention here. God in his mercy wants all to be saved while the devil's mission is to steal, kill, and destroy. As Christians, it's important to remember the core principles of our faith, love, compassion, and acceptance. Jesus taught us to love our neighbors as ourselves and to treat others with kindness and respect. It's through these actions that we can truly reflect the teachings of Christ and show his love to the world. We are also admonished by Paul 
in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 1, Brothers and sisters, if someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves, or you also may be tempted. The church and Christians ought to create a safe place for those facing struggles in life to express their experiences and perspectives in a way that encourages understanding and gives hope for restoration. By sharing personal stories, fears and hopes, they can help bridge the gap between the different beliefs and foster empathy. In conclusion, the question, whose rainbow is it, certainly has a straightforward answer for anyone who believes that God is the creator of the universe. The Bible clearly shows that God gave the rainbow as a covenant sign to his promise to never destroy the earth by flooding again. Christians should retain this understanding of the rainbow and not to associate everything adorned in the rainbow colors to the LGBTQI plus community. Instead, they should speak the truth in love, be open to offer support to those who may be entrapped. That's it for today's video. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the ongoing debate surrounding the rainbow. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue this conversation with kindness and respect. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more edifying content. Until next time, take care and spread the love of Christ.